The Tesla turbine is a bladeless centripetal flow turbine patented by Nikola Tesla in 1913. It is referred to as a bladeless turbine. The Tesla turbine is also known as the boundary layer turbine, cohesion type turbine, and prank layer turbine, after Ludwig Prandtl, because it uses the boundary layer effect and not a fluid impinging upon the blades as in a conventional turbine. Bioengineering Researchers have referred to it as a multiple disc centrifugal pump. One of Tesla's desires for implementation of this turbine was for geothermal power, which was described in our future motive power. The guiding idea for developing Tesla turbine is the fact that in order to attain the highest efficiency, the changes in the velocity and direction of movement of fluid should be as gradual as possible. Therefore, the propelling fluid of Tesla turbine moves in natural paths or streamlines of least resistance. A Tesla turbine consists of a set of smooth disks, with nozzles applying a moving fluid, to the edge of the disk. The fluid drags on the disk by means of viscosity and the adhesion of the surface layer of the fluid. As the fluid slows and adds energy to the disks, it spirals into the center exhaust. Since the rotor has no projections, it is very sturdy. Tesla wrote, this turbine is an efficient self-starting prime mover which may be operated as a steam or mixed fluid turbine at will, without changes in construction and is on this account very convenient. Minor departures from the turbine, as may be dictated by the circumstances in each case, will obviously suggest themselves but if it is carried out on these general lines it will be found highly profitable to the owners of the steam plant while permitting the use of their old installation. However, the best economic results in, the development of power from steam by the Tesla turbine will be obtained in plants especially adapted for the purpose. Tesla's patents state that the device was intended for the use of fluids as motive agents, as distinguished from the application of the same for the propulsion or compression of fluids, though the device can be used for those purposes as well. As of 2016. The Tesla turbine has not seen widespread commercial use since its invention. The Tesla pump, however, has been commercially available since 1982 and is used to pump fluids that are abrasive, viscous, shear sensitive, contain solids, or are otherwise difficult to handle with other pumps. Tesla himself did not procure a large contract for production. The main drawback in his time, as mentioned, was the poor knowledge of materials characteristics and behaviors at high temperatures. The best metallurgy of the day could not prevent the turbine disks from moving and warping unacceptably during operation. Today, many amateur experiments in the field have been conducted using Tesla turbines which use compressed air, or steam as its power source, the steam being generated with heat from fuel combustion or from solar radiation. The issue of the warping of the disks has been partially solved using new materials such as carbon fiber. One proposed current application for the device is a waste pump. In factories and mills where normal vein type turbine pumps typically get blocked. Applications of the Tesla turbine as a multiple disk centrifugal blood pump have yielded promising results due to the low peak shear force. Biomedical engineering research on such applications has been continued into the 21st century.